okay, here's my book. <laughs> <laughs> What's the problem I'm going to have? Somebody's going to say, you didn't write that. And I got to go, oh, how'd no. you know? <laughs> really? How did you know? Oh, it's mine. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's right now, it's really easy to tell if what is and is not original. And, but we're going to, we're going to test it in a few minutes. Um, so uh, let's see. And next up, Clary, tell us what are some future concerns ahead with actors and directors unions? So one of the concern is about how their voices gonna sound, how the AI gonna generate their voices, because yeah. the actor, they are humans, they was talking about that, and they think it's not, basically it's not enough, the technology is not enough, and they, they are concerned about how their, their voice is gonna sound. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I mean, has anyone ever ever heard of this? You can you can take somebody's picture and generate a fake well, uh, you like you you can you can I can superimpose. Hang on one second. Let me show you. Um, I'm going to show you examples of pre-existing. Uh, hang on one second. Let me uh, wait a minute. Okay, this is very rudimentary versions of this right now. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to use a video filter to show examples of the silly things that one can do. So the way I the way I have a background, uh, let's say I want to make them, I, I can make my background whatever I want here. What if I want to give myself a disguise, okay? These are very simple features that everybody uses every day. I'm giving myself, look, I am wearing 3D glasses. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm play, I'm using, okay, now I'm Rosie the Riveter. So, now uh, I'm playing with pre-existing technology. Um, remember, be safe guys. So I'm playing with all kinds of stuff. So everything that exists at the moment uh, can be, uh, I'm gonna turn myself, okay, look, I'm on TV now. So whatever, I'm playing with all kinds of fun stuff that is easy, uh, like, hold on a second. Okay, now I'm going to be, I'm going to use some studio effects. I'm going to give myself a, um, I'm going to give myself a mustache. Oh, no, I'm going I'm to give myself some lipstick. Here we go. Yeah, I'm going to actually, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm going to give everybody nightmares here. Um, all right, give myself a, must, a bigger mustache there. All right, so I put on lipstick and a mustache. I'm going to wear a hat. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm Walter White with lipstick. Okay. There we go. I'm going to change the lip color. There we go. I'm Walter White. Breaking Bad right now. Okay. So I just turned myself into Walter White with these very easy to use features. There is technology of it. What if I use a program so sophisticated that I turn my face into something identical to an actor and I change my voice? Do you really need to pay millions and millions of dollars for that actor? Or could you just use a little creativity and steal the actor's image? And if you were to steal the actor's image, um, should the actor be compensated for their image? That sort of thing. So these are, uh, and, uh, and directors are concerned because directors, um, put everything together. They tell the actors where to move. They tell the camera, they, they tell the camera, you know, the director of photography where to move the camera and all that stuff. You can engineer uh, computer programs to do that sort of thing. So everybody essentially can be replaced, but can they? I mean, people have said that teachers, we don't need teachers for about the last 20 years. I don't, no matter how great technology gets, I, I, I see people just getting lazier. I see, <laughs> I don't see like 
everybody being replaced. But these are concerns in the future, things to look at. Uh, yes, thank you, Bibiana. Yes, I do look like uh, Heisenberg. Thank you. In a minute ago, maybe I'll put the Heisenberg hat on again later. Anyway, so now, as promised, we're going to make our chat GPT script. Is everybody excited? We're going to make a script with chat GPT. So here we go. Who was it? Who was here first? It was, yes, Marcella and Clary. As promised, we're going to make our own script. So I'm just going to log into chat GPT. Marcella and Clary, you're going to have to tell the computer what the story is going to be about. And then we're all going to vote. We're going to have some volunteer readers uh, read three parts. So here are the parameters. We're going to need uh, a two-page script, a two-page TV script. And then about whatever Marcella and Cloudy want it to be uh, with two actors speaking. All right. <laughs> Marcella, Cloudy, what, what's the story? Give me a story. Teacher, the gift that Jackie get, gave you, give me an idea. Okay. A friendly, a friendly dragon. Okay, perfect. But what tell me what to put into the what to put into chat GPT? Well, I need another actor. No, 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 just give me the story first. Okay. I just think in a topic. Okay, let me think. Well, I mean, the fact that does everybody see how Cloudy and I are talking to each other? What about um, Cloudy, uh, um, Marcella, do you have a story? All right, I think we have the answer. Um, Jackie, we have this great technology in front of us and um, I don't see anybody coming up with a story. It looks like we need a professional to come in. Does anybody, Clary, Marcella, you've had an hour. Give me your story. What, what, what do you want it to be about? Anything. Yeah, I don't think writers have anything to be afraid about. I just hear total silence. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cloudy Marcella, you've had an hour. If you don't give me a story, I'm going to come up with a ridiculous story for you. Marcella, give me something. You know, when I, if I make it up, it's going to be weird. Come on. Are you sure? I'm going to, okay. I'm going to Go give you give me a, the story. Weird, a weird history because I just think in a topic like a friendly dragon with the gift that Jackie gave you. But okay. okay. A friendly dragon um, trying to save a little mouse in a cave. Perfect. Thank you, Clary. Write a script. I'm going to say, chat GPT, write a two page script because we, I don't want it to be too long. We're going to have to read it in class about a friendly dragon trying to save a little mouth in a cave. All right, there we go. So I'm going to tell chat GPT to make this and it's going to be amazing. It's going to make an actual script. Um, but we're going to have to vote. Is this something you would actually want to watch? Two characters, I'm going to say two characters only speaking. Okay, here we go. Does everybody see? So there's Cloudy's idea. I'm putting it into chat GPT right now, okay? Now, Cloudy and Marcella, choose two people to read. Anybody, anybody you wanna hear, read. I choose Israel. 
Israel, you're going to be one of the readers. You're going to be the mouse of the dragon, okay? And uh, Israel, choose uh, choose a partner who's another actor. I'm just going to look randomly. Oh, yeah, Ant Israel. Anthony. Who, you choose? who? Anthony. Anthony, perfect. So Israel and Anthony are going to read. And now Chat GPT is going to make the script right now based on Claudia's idea. Here we go. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> What's happening? Okay, there it is. There it is. Okay. Look, everybody see? I'm not typing anything. So there it is. Okay. It's called The Dragon's Rescue. All right. Who wants to, now, Israel? Do you want to be Draco or Mickey? Draco. 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 Now we're going to have to get one more reader for the um, the narration, the stuff that's in the brackets, like enter Mickey, a small mouse. Um, Jackie, would you like to do that? I think you'd be very good with the narration. Okay, great. So here's the script. All right. And oh, this is nice. It's going to keep going until you press stop. But what's <laughs> now? Remember, why is this unusable? Anthony knows. Because it can be copyright. Yeah, all of this is just pulled from random places in the internet. So you don't know what's original and what's not. It's just, it's like dropping a bag of rice on the floor. And you, it's just a mess. You don't know where, what this is all about. Okay, so let's stop right here. Whoa, oh, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean regenerate. No, because you put the two. Oh, whoops. Okay. So Dra Drago and Milo. Okay. I need to press stop generating. Here we go. We'll give, give it a minute. This is interesting. Okay. Maybe this is going to be good. I don't know. I'll let it go for one minute. But everybody, after, uh, after this, we're going to vote. Here we go. So there it is. We're gonna perform the script and then vote. Would you watch this show? Here we go. Okay. There it is. Okay. Let's press stop. Okay. So that's a script. It's about two pages. And I'll make it nice and big for everybody to see. Oh, come on. All right. Jackie is gonna narrate the story. Uh, Israel is Draco. Anthony is Milo. Okay, here we go. And this the the TV show is called The Dragon's Quest. So everything that is not Milo or Draco, Jackie will read. Okay. Um I'll, and you can follow me with the annotations. Okay. Jackie, please begin. This oh, INT means interior. Yeah, but that one that one is the second page, so you have to back to the one. Oh no, this is the first. This is the beginning. This is the beginning right here. All right. Dragon's Quest. Uh, I'll read this, the introduction here. Okay. Drago, a friendly dragon who wants to save a little mouse. And that was uh, Cloudy's idea. Milo, a scared little mouse trapped in a case. The part of Drago will be played by Israel. The part of Milo will be played by Anthony. Okay. Jackie, please read this narration. Drago, Draco, a kind hearted dragon enters a dark cave searching for Milo. A frightened little mouse trapped inside. Very good. Okay, now here we go. It's showtime, Israel. And remember, you're whispering. <laughs> Milo, Milo, where are you? Okay, here, here, okay. Now remember, you're crying here. You're crying, Anthony. Teacher, but who is there? Please don't <laughs> hurt me. Okay, Israel. Don't worry, little one. I won't hurt you. I come up to save you. Okay, Jackie. Milo co uh, cautiously peer out from the corner and sees Drago friendly face. Okay, Anthony, you're nervous. You are, you are Dragon. 
Aren't you supposed to be scary? <laughs> Appearance can be deceiving. I may be sad, but I have a gentle heart. Now hop onto my back and fly us out there. And I'll fly us out. The, out, out Milo out the hesitates for a moment, then cautiously climbs onto dragon's dragon's back. But it can find our way out. It's so dark here. Have five, Milo. I know this cave like the back of my club. Well, Mike. <laughs> it out together. Okay, Jackie? Drago spreads his wings and takes flight, carefully maneuvering through the narrow cave passages. This is amazing. I've been never seen the world from out here before. There is, a, <laughs> there is a whole world out there waiting for you to explore, Milo. You just need a little help to get a start. They start. emerge from the cave and into the sunlight. There we go, exterior green meadow daytime. Jackie? Drago lands in a beautiful green meadow, gently in getting Milo down. Thank you, Drago. You're not like any dragon I ever heard of. Well, I believe I'm being friend to all creatures, no matter how big or small. You are the best friend a little mouse could have. And you, Milo, have reminded me of the joy of helping others. Okay, that was the script. And uh, it cost absolutely nothing for the script. So, everybody, think for a minute. Think for a minute. I'm going to put a poll into the chat. Okay. We just made our own AI script. Now imagine you're watching at home. Would you, you have a lot of, you have a lot of competition. You got your Paramount Plus, you got your um, Disney Plus, you got your HBO Max, you got your Netflix, and you're just sitting at home. You want to be entertained right now. Teacher. Would you, yes. But I think so the history, we have start in the middle because you put two right two page and we are starting the second page. So we no, missed no, no, the that first, was, that was the, the beginning. beginning. That was the beginning. Hmm. I'll go back to it. I'll show you. That was the very beginning, Israel. That was, that was, we were, you read from the beginning. See, that was the dragon's quest. Yeah. Yeah. You started reading from the beginning, right? That was it. Yep. We didn't and miss anything. The, the arrow, I think it was two different two, history. Two, uh, you can put one of two. What's that, Jackie? In the uh, up, uh, scroll, scroll, yes, two, uh, line two, you can put one instead two. Well, what we're noticing right now is that um, I think that Jackie and uh, Israel are already changing what the computer did so it looks like we if we're if we were all making this tv show together it looks like we we have a we might jackie and israel might need to be paid for their ideas i don't know could could a computer do this by itself or do we need do we still need people to make little changes um let's but that's the general idea so the mouse and the dragon this is claudia's idea Clary, what do you think do you like what the what the computer did on its own or do you want to have people like jackie and israel making changes i i think it was good at the okay. beginning i i think it was a weird idea but after i was louding with anthony voice <laughs> There we go. So Anthony, Anthony's a star. Israel's, I think Israel's pretty great too. And uh, Jackie, Jackie is also doing great with, a, with her narration. Um, but here we go. Let's just vote. As a TV show, would you want to binge watch this series? It came, the idea, the general idea came from Cloudy. 
and we had we had human actors, um, Israel and uh, Anthony. I'm going to put a poll right here. Would you binge watch this series? Okay, so yes or no. Here we go. I'm going to put the poll up right here. Okay, so would you binge watch this series about the mouth and the dragon? And choice one is yes. Choice two is no. And uh, there we go. Okay, everybody take a look. In the chat, you can see the poll. Just vote yes or no. Would you watch this, yes or no? And we'll compare the results. Would you binge watch this series? Just click yes or no. Would you watch it? I cannot see the pool. I'll redo it. Here we go. I cannot see. Okay. okay. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I forgot to click yes. launch. Ha, ah, okay. Launching the poll now, go, okay. What? Is Cast your votes, yes or no. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. I've got so far. Oh, very interesting, very interesting. So far, we've got a three no and five yes. Okay, I think there's one person who hasn't cast their vote. This is a close one. Would you watch the series about the mouse and the dragon? Okay, so one is undecided and five have voted yes and three have voted, no, oh wait, that's me, I'm the one. <laughs> I didn't, oh yeah, I forgot, I'm the one. Okay, so yes. So according to this class, uh, let's see, according to this class, it looks like we've lost a few people since we started class. Um, yeah, we have lost a few. Um, most people said, yes, they would watch this. So um, sorry, writers, we don't need you anymore. Don't need so yep. Go ahead and stay on strike. We we were okay. We're gonna we will just use Cloudy. We'll just use um. We looks like we still need actors though. So let's say so we still need here they are. There is uh there is Israel and there's Anthony. We still need you two, but you could be replaced soon enough. But we looks like we don't need uh, writers. All right, so that was a fun exercise. Now let's take a look at let's take a look at the upcoming assignments. So we've got twelve minutes left in class. So I gave you a short assignment due next week. Uh, read read this article, review the Jamboard, and write a, a compare and contrast piece about the two thousand and seven and twenty twenty three writers' strike. And you also have due on Friday a second draft.